carousel so let's go back and do that for the left element so as you can see when we reach the end the left does not continuously flow so back in our JavaScript we'll implement that for the slide right as well so we're actually going to do like the opposite of what we did for the slide left so if you remember what we did for slide left when we reached the end of the right hand side of the carousel we took the first one and then appended it to the after the last element so what we did we say first dot insert after the last but inside when we're sliding right wise we're going to do the opposite we're going to get the last element and then insert it before the first element so just to speed up our work here we're just going to copy these two lines here and then paste it here so we've got the first element and the last element so now what we're going to do is we're going to say last element dot insert before first so now that we've inserted the first element before the last element we're going to slide the carousel left once when we reach the end so as usual we're going to store the value of wait time so we say original wait time equals to parent dot wait time so next we're going to say parent dot wait time equals to zero so now we do our animation say parent dot wrapper since we're sliding the wrapper to the right hand side what we're going to do is we're going to take the left and then keep decreasing its value so we say wrapper dot animate give it a first CSS object targeting the left of that of the wrapper so we say minus equal to plus parent dot single image width plus pixels because the left property expects a value with a pixel attached to the end so we say parent dot wait time so setting back the wait time to its initial value plus the original wait time so now guys i just want to make sure that you understand one thing you see the storing and restoring that we're doing here storing the original wait time and restoring it we could have just come back here and just put in zero here but when i was coding this i just realized that looking at here it wasn't apparent what was happening right instantly just by looking at it at first glance what was going on so instead of just putting zero here and just removing all of this we could have done that but it was clearer to me i don't know about you you could do as i just did but for me in order for me to understand what was going on every time i look at this code i just had to make it clear what was going on i just had to restore wait time value and then restore it back so it's your choice you could actually put in zero inside of here and that will work fine and you don't need these two lines these three lines these two and this one i mean it's all entirely your choice so now let's wrap this whole block inside an if statement as we did in the slide left so that we'll know when we reach the end of the list okay so we'll go up here in the slide left as well and then we'll copy this whole text over here so we'll do this if do that as well and then move all of this to the right a little bit okay so now we're doing the check so this this small this small block of code here will only execute when this satisfies so back in our browser let's test and see if everything is working properly together let's see if the slide left and the slide right are working together so we keep clicking slide left slide left okay the first element came back into view let's try slide right now yeah that also seems to be working right Sl the first element also came back into view so now that we've set up the left and right link points it seems like we've reached the end of this chapter so next what we're going to set up is the left and right presses on your keyboard when you click the left on your keyboard button it slides to the right when you click on the right on your keyboard button it slides to the left so just to cut this video short I'll see you in the next video guys and thanks for watching and please subscribe and I know it took a while to make this set of chapters and that was because I was very busy with a lot of work and 
I will make sure that there's a lot of tutorials coming up next guys and thanks for watching I'll see you in the next video and please don't forget to subscribe thank you bye